Hey, this is Kyle with Yonder South. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing this Reese goose box onto our Cedar Creek 37 MBH. I've already got our uh, trailer prepared. I actually took the uh, Lippert pin box off of this this morning. Went ahead and uh, sprayed it with a new coat of paint. Got rid of the rust off of there. Um, got everything disconnected as far as our trailer brakes. Um, so everything is set up and ready to go. The plan is to use um, tools here. What we're gonna do is actually take and back the truck up under the trailer. And we've got this positioned on a piece of cardboard where we can slide it back and forth. So we'll actually use that to get it in position on our uh, trailer mount here. We'll do our best to get the bolts lined up and we'll uh, get everything tightened up from that point. So. Follow along as we work ourselves through this installation and let's see how it goes. All right, we're gonna get this as close as we can in position and then we'll actually let the trailer down on it just a little bit until we get everything lined up. Okay, so I'm just checking, the, I, I downloaded the instructions from Reese's website onto my iPad, so I'm just checking to make sure that I'm lined up in uh, the correct set of holes. Uh, for this Lippert 1621 pin box, uh, they've got uh, two different heights that you can adjust it to. You've got a standard mounting position and then a lowest mounting position that gives you like two inches of adjustment to make sure that you end up with seven inches of clearance between your truck and your trailer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the standard position to start with. We'll just kind of loosely tighten everything up. We'll check it on level with our truck and then we'll torque it down after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the standard mountain position to start with. All right, so back to our bolt. We're lined up on our front hole on this side, on my side right now. We're gonna go through with a bolt and a washer, and then we're gonna put this conical washer with the teeth on the inside and the nut. So it's gonna go in just in, like, just in that fashion there. All right, I can go ahead and put this one in, the next hole up in the front as well. And I'm gonna have to let down on the back here just a, just a little bit so I can get these two rear holes to line up. Uh, I've got this blocked up with a few blocks of wood so it's pretty easy to adjust it down. I can just move these blocks of wood back 
and then shift this until I get it in the position I need. I may end up just letting just letting down on the trailer just a hair to see if that'll help me line it up too. Actually, that did it. Just shifting it on that piece of cardboard lined everything up for me. All right, so now I'll move on and tighten up, or, or loosely put in, excuse me, loosely put in the bolts on the other side. So I've got these loosely in place at this point. I'm just gonna take my electric impact and um, tighten these up just to, you know, just as tight as I can get them with this. And then we'll put the truck in position. We'll check everything for uh, our clearance here. And then we'll torque everything back down at that point if, if we like the way we've got it lined up. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and install our uh, trailer brake controller. I'm gonna put it right here in this part of the hitch. Uh, the airbag is positioned just forward of this, and I can, I can stick my hand all the way up in there and feel that there's a void, so I'm safe to mount it right there just like that. So I'm gonna use my drill and a self-tapping screw, and we're gonna run it in right here. Some really thick metal. Reese did a good job of uh, constructing these things, making them able to withstand the weight of these trailers. But it takes a minute to get that to go through. You want to be sure and hold your wires up out of the way. Last thing you want to do is pinch your wires while you're putting this on. Pull that down into place. And now I'll be ready to connect our uh, trailer brake, uh, our trailer breakaway, um, you know, to my pitch when I get everything in place. So I noticed I actually had two more mountain holes that were uh, lined up. And I had extra bolts from the Lippert pin box that I took off, so I'm gonna go ahead and run a bolt through those too. Can't hurt to have a few extra bolts in this thing. It's December here in South Georgia, and we are still fighting mosquitoes in the evenings. So if you see me scratching, that's why.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise the trailer up at this point so I can stand up under here and not hit my head. And uh, I went ahead and got our safety chains ready to install. Now, when you order your goose box, the safety chains don't come with it standard. You have to order those separately. So be sure that uh, you look on whatever website you're ordering. I think I ordered mine from eTrailer. Uh, got anything that you could possibly want there. I would recommend them highly. I'm not getting paid to endorse them in any way, uh, but I thought their customer service was great. They answered all the questions that I had. But anyway, go ahead and order you a set of safety chains that are rated for the weight of the, uh, the goose box that you've got, but more importantly, make sure that they're rated for the weight of your trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those installed now. All right, in order to install these, um, Reese thought about it, of course, and they've got uh, some nice mountain holes that you put your safety chain through. So you find the end of your chain, then you run the run your bolt through your hole there, and it shows you installing that chain facing forward, of course, so it'll be pointing towards your hitch itself. Then it gets a fender washer, a regular washer, a lock washer, and then a, a nut. I also want to say, if I can install all of this with a stupid broke thumb, I think anybody can install it. It's not very hard at all. So then I'm just going to copy what I did on this side over here and install it in the same order. So all our mountain hardware up here was 15 sixteenths, uh, but this particular um, bolt and nut for the safety chains, you got a 13 sixteenths up top and a 7 eighths nut. So. Be sure that's positioned where I want it. Forward. We're going to tighten them down. It says to tighten these to 110 foot pounds. So now uh, I've got the safety chains on. I'm ready to back the truck up, let the trailer down on it, and we'll get a measurement from my bed rail to the uh, trailer here, and we'll check that. And if everything checks out, we'll go ahead and tighten our um, mountain bolts down to 210 foot-pounds like the instructions say. All right, so at this point, we've got the goose box um, loosely mounted. I say loosely, I mean, I use the, uh, the impact to tighten the bolts. We've got it down on the goose ball hitch in the, in the truck. We're about to measure our height here to make sure that our bolts or the holes that we used on our uh, plate up there are the correct ones. We wanna make sure that we've got at least seven inches of clearance here. We look to have about seven and a quarter at the closest spot. So we've got plenty of clearance here. We've got, like I said, about seven and a quarter there at the back of the truck. We're actually on a little bit of unlevel ground. So I know as we pull up, it's gonna increase this level that we've got here. So everything should be good to go. What I'm gonna do now is just unhook this. And we'll pull the truck up out of the way and I'll go ahead and t uh, torque down all our fasteners to 210 foot-pounds like the instructions call for and we'll be pretty much good to go at that point. So 
I'm going to get them close like I just did, torquing it on the outside. And then I'll try to move it around to the nut side and torque it from that side as well. Just to be sure we've got an actual torque measurement. But yeah, we're good there. So move on to the next. As you can see, it's the next day. We got our Reese goose box installed on our camper. We finished it up just after dark last night. Uh, we are really looking forward to being able to hook the truck up to this without having the fifth wheel hitch in the back of the truck and to be able to pull our camper. So um, I'm sure we'll be doing an updated video at some point where we'll talk about the features of this Reese goose box and talk about what we like about um, pulling with it. Um, we really excited about getting it on our camper and we're looking forward to our first trip out in it so uh, if you have any questions ask them in the comments we'll be more than happy to help you in any way we can um, otherwise we hope you have a good time uh, in your camper and out on your trips <laughs>